This is a gorgeous floating home. Cannot wait to, to show it to you. It is as turnkey as turnkey gets. And the house itself is, mm, I think, three years old, if even. All right, we will get back to this luscious outdoor space at the very end, because you know how I like to do that. But before we get started, let's insert my cool new logo right here. Okay, now that that's done, <laughs> I want to show you this. This is called a tender house, and it's a giant room for storage and forgive me because I just shoved the cushion covers in here. Oh no, and I locked it. Big huge room <laughs> with electricity. Great place to put all your tools. Some of my clients turned it into an art shed. Alrighty. One, you gotta look up. Look at the ceiling height in here. It's a two-story home, so it's a really, really high ceiling down here. The current owners of this house did so many nice updates. My favorite is this fireplace. This is not an ordinary fireplace. This is a much higher-end fireplace. You don't have any of that gold or silver trim. The logs are birch looking and it's just so cool. And can I just tell you how warm it is right now, which is lovely. Gorgeous mantle right here. Ah, these windows open um, on the bottom too for some air circulation all through the front here. We've got luxury plank vinyl on the floors. Slab granite countertop under cabinet lighting, uh, hickory counter, hickory dickory dog, hickory countertops, nice deep stainless steel sink. Updated refrigerator, this is very new. It's got a little water filter system in there. And again, we will save the outside for the last. Great place to do a little uh, coat rack settee there. All right. For those of us who live on the river that don't have an actual walk-in laundry room, this is really nice. <laughs> and then you've got a half bath here for guests because each of the primary bedrooms, yes, there's two, have their own ensuite bath. Ah, a walk-in laundry. The typical storage under the stairs Fabulous extra storage. Hot water heaters behind here. But that's a nice storage room as well. Primary bedroom number one or two. It doesn't matter. They're both massive bedrooms. Got this luxurious amount of space here. And it's a nice deep room. This doesn't feel like your typical second bedroom. Look at this nice idea. This cute little, cute little desk set up there. All right, bathroom. The ensuite bathroom features double sinks, slab granite again, very nice ceramic tile, and ooh, towel bar heater. That's attached, so I'm pretty sure that bad boy's gonna stay. Oh, that was loud. Nice deep tub. Look at this like reclining tub. What are we, Club Med? <laughs> That's a fancy tub. All right. More exploring. Upstairs we go. Look at this wonderful use of space. There's this little nook here where you can look down below. Hey guys, I'm coming right down for dinner. I'll be right there but they actually utilized it as this extra little home office nook. Now this bad boy is the other primary bedroom. Lots of features to list here. So we've got a 
love these hickory doors. It's beautiful. Huge walk-in closet. And, you know, since I kind of staged this, I sh shoved a bunch of stuff in here. We've got a nice big closet. And this room is so deep. I got a little couch set up over here. Guess what else? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I am a professional. Go balcony. This being the second primary bedroom, first or second, whichever. It also features an ensuite bath. Tiny bit different from downstairs, but you've got the double sink here. And then hop on in here. I want to show off the shower. Look at that beautiful shower. Nice. Let's go outside. Uh, who had the cappuccino order? It's ready. Because I know this is where I would be sitting in the morning. Sunrise here is gorgeous because we're facing east, looking toward, cue the cormorant. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> looking toward Savi Island. It's really, really beautiful sunrises here. All right, outside, some features. Very high um, ceiling here. So we've got some covered, some uncovered seating. Nice to have those options. Stylish farm style lamps, vinyl siding, and vinyl siding on the river is a really good choice. You know, wash it, pressure wash it once a year. This is new. This is the hot thing right now with floating homes is everybody's doing these glass railings. One, if you've got a pet, which you can have here, a visiting pet, grandkids, whatnot, or just clumsy people, you know. <laughs> oh, look at this amazing gazebo. This is so cool. This is where I was contemplating life when you arrived. <laughs> just what a great space. And we've seen the tender already. There's um, another storage unit on the front side of the house, on the dock side of the house, which is really cool. All in all, this house is what we call turnkey. It is at the gorgeous gated community of Rocky Point Marina, which is pristinely kept. Um, you can have pets and you would surely have a lot of friends. Thank you for watching.